As the intensifying strategic confrontation between the United States and China dominates many foreign policy debates, another important competition is quietly playing out. The jostling between India and China for influence in South Asia, from the Himalayas to the islands off the subcontinent in the Indian Ocean, will likely prove crucial to the fate of Washington's strategy to keep the region free and open from Chinese coercion. And the good news, at least for now, is that New Delhi, an increasingly close U.S. partner, has been mostly successful in pushing back against Beijing's rising influence across the region. South Korean e-commerce giant Coupang is reportedly planning to enter the Indian market, as the New York Stock Exchange-listed startup is said to be in conversation with the Indian government. According to a Business Standard report citing government officials, the South Korean government has applied to India on behalf of Coupang, which has expressed interest in entering one of the world's largest e-commerce markets. The nation's tourism industry is facing the challenge of restoring the number of tourist arrivals to pre-pandemic levels, which has also been affected by the standoff between Russia and the West over Ukraine. On August 1, Russia and China reinstated a visa-free travel agreement for tourist groups that was first negotiated in 2000, but suspended in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The deal applies to groups of at least five people traveling on a single itinerary and program. A similar arrangement was also reached between Russia and Iran. In a key development, India and the United Arab Emirates UAE, have embarked on a groundbreaking move by opting to settle their crude oil transactions using their respective national currencies. The Indian rupee and the UAE dirham will be utilized in this landmark transaction, which will be seen as a significant shift in international trade dynamics. The first such transaction involving national currencies will take place later today on Monday, August 14. This comes as a result of the Memorandum of Understanding MO, signed during Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to the UAE. The MO introduces the Local Currency Settlement LCS, system, facilitated by the Reserve Bank of India and the Central Bank of the United Arab Emirates. It paves the way for cross-border transactions using the rupee and dirham. Quad Alliance joins together for Exercise Malabar 2023 in Australia. The United States, Australia, India and Japan began Exercise Malabar 2023 Friday. The JMSDF will deploy destroyer JS Shiranui, DD-120, part of the first surface unit of the JMSDF's Indo-Pacific Deployment 2023 IPD-23, mission, along with a special boarding unit of the JMSDF. The U. S is deploying destroyer USS Rafael Peralta, DDG-115, fleet oiler USNS Rappahannock, DAO-204, a submarine, PA Poseidon's Maritime Patrol Aircraft, MPA, and Special Operations Forces. India is participating with destroyer INS Kolkata, D-63, and frigate INS Sahyadri, F-49. Thank you for joining us today. Until next time, keep exploring, keep connecting and keep spreading love across borders. Take care.